Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to create this hair animation with just a few simple steps in Cinema 4D. So let's get into it. So here we are in Cinema 4D. So I have this pretty model of the uh, Pekka here. And you can see that I got this body part separated from the face, uh, the ears and the eyes. Because uh, we're going to add the hair to the body part only. Alright, let's select the bodies and go to simulate hair object and select add hair. So now you can see that it automatically adds hair to the whole geometry. Now let's adjust some setting here so it could look like what we want it to be. So let's reduce the length to 12, uh, 5 segments. Go to hair and increase the hair count to 150,000. All right, and also reduce the segment to five. And now let's go to uh, forces and reduce the gravity by minus two uh, because we want the hair to be uh, a little bit more fluffy. And now you can hit the play button to preview the hair simulation. So the next thing we need to do is to select this hair material that has been generated and just make some adjustment here. So first of all is the color. So let's change the color to uh, something like a little bit orange, uh, red like this. Alright, so that's looking good. So let's go to uh, specular and adjust uh, the settings a little bit strange, maybe uh, tent. Uh, let's reduce sharpness by 20 and strain by 30 and sharpness is 30. And also we can uh, change the color to something a little bit yellowish like this. Alright now let's go to thickness and set the root to uh, 0 0.2 and the tip to 0, 0 0.8. Alright so now let's uh, turn on this uh, first properties. And let's set this to 40%. Alright, so let's just uh, give it a try and render this out to see how it looks like. So it's looking pretty ugly right now because uh, we're using the default renderers, uh, which is not the good renderer for rendering hair. So we need to um, turn on the render setting and switch the renderer to physical renderer. And make sure to turn on this ambient occlusion and because the hair is orange so we need to change the color to dark red like this so let's give it a try right now so as you can see that the hair is looking much better and it's starting to look more realistic so we still have some work to do to make it looks good so the next thing we have to do is to um, trim the hair a little bit uh, so let's uh, select the hair object and turn off the camera so we can have a closer look and then go to simulate hair tool and select hair cut. Now you can use the brush tool to uh, trim the hair uh, of the face part because we don't want it to uh, uh, pop out of the face. So now let's hit play to uh, preview the animation. Uh, so just uh, stop here and from this I wanted to set this uh, state of the hair to be the initial state so let's go to uh, simulate hair edit and set initial state and now the um, animation will start with the uh, the hairs already falling down so now what I want to do is to make the hair flying as it's being blown by the wind so all you have to do is just go to uh, simulate forces and select wind. And now you can see there's a fan here. So all you have to do is just move the fan uh, to the front and just set this uh, wind speed to uh, maybe 15. So now let's hit play to preview. And now you see that the hair is being blown by the wind as it's spinning. So one more thing that we need to do is uh, we don't want the hair to uh, flying through the face. Uh, we want it to interact with the surface of the face. So what we need to do is to uh, select this uh, face comb 
Now let's go to tax and hand tax and select hand collider. So as you can see that there's a hand collider tag being applied to this object. So now if you preview the anim animation, uh, you will see that the hair is scattering around the surface of the face. So this is what we wanted. So that's it with the hair setting. So now we need to make it look pretty by just adding some very simple light setup. So the first light we need to add is some ambient light. So let's create a simple light and rename it to ambient and check this ambient illumination checkbox. And then let's create the second light and for this one we're going to select this area light. So we have this rectangle here and let's move it over here, maybe up a little bit. Let's go to details and select the inverse square fall off and make sure that to turn on the Z direction only. Now let's adjust the light orientation by just rotate it like this. Uh, so this angle is good. Maybe uh, move it back here and move it up a little bit so it could lighten up the face better. And make sure you go to shadows and turn on this area shadows. Now let's uh, duplicate this light and move it back. So this is going to be our backlight. Um, so we're going to rotate it uh, this direction. Alright, that's it. Uh, so let's uh, turn on the renders and just give it a try to see how it look like. Alright, so here how it look like. I think it's looking pretty good. So what I show you is just the basic step. So you have the freedom to play around with the setting, the hair setting, the render setting, and the lighting to uh, uh, maybe come out with something that looks even better. So that's the end of the tutorial today, so I hope you find it helpful. If you're interested in this project file, so consider becoming my Patreon, so you can have access to all of the tutorial resources that I posted here. Link under the description. So that's it for today, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.